Good morning. I hope that you guys are having a great Friday so far. Happy Friday. I'm just hopping on for a couple minutes to show you a couple pieces of jewelry and to remind you to make sure you're doing those challenges because we're going to do drawings tomorrow evening. So today I just wanted to remind you about the one, two, three that we talked about yesterday. So the fashion formula, if you will. So starting with your staples or your neutrals, then adding in your fashion piece and finishing it off, pulling your look together with, um, with jewelry. So this can be as easy as um, throwing a moto jacket over a graphic tee with a pair of leggings. Um, if you're working from home or if you're a stay-at-home mama, um, leggings, yoga pants, they're your jam. I'm wearing a pair today um, <laughs> with my denim. Um, so I, I get that sometimes we think, oh, I can't wear that because I'm not leaving the house. But it feels good to just kind of take care of yourself, even if you're just going to stay at home. So throwing on a necklace or throwing on a, a vest or a jacket, um, taking that time in the morning to get ready can really make us feel a little bit better about ourselves and help us serve our families and serve our people just a little bit better during the day. So my tips for... Um, helping you organize your life so that you can kind of think in terms of one, two, three, the steps for getting dressed, is one, to sort your closet. So sort your closet, go into it and sort it into basics, those neutral colors, fashion pieces, those step twos or those things that you would throw on over a basic or a neutral, and then also sort it, I find it helpful to sort it by color. So if I have it sorted into black tees, white tees, um, and then going into the colors, if I know that I can just reach in and grab a black tank top, grab um, a jacket that I know looks great with it, and then grab a necklace that I know already looks great with that, on a day where I'm running late, I just pulled a look together in like 30 seconds. I can throw it on, I can throw my hair in a top knot or <laughs> scrunch it on my way out the door, like today, and I can look like I tried when really I didn't. <laughs> Um, so just taking time to sort your closet um, and look at what those pieces are can really helpful help you. Um, auditing your closet, which would be like um, you can do a closet consult with me. I would love to help you with that. Or you can just go into your closet um, and see what pieces you think would help maximize your look. So if you're missing a black t-shirt, I would really recommend grabbing one. If you're missing maybe a navy tee or um, you don't have a denim jacket or you don't have a jacket that you really love. Those would be pieces that maybe you should look for the next time you go shopping. So auditing your closet is really important. Knowing the working pieces are really important. And that's something that I would love to help with, whether it's through a closet console or whether you just shoot me a text and say, I picked this outfit out, what do you think? I would love to help with that. Um, so shopping for missing pieces that maximize your looks, like I said, that can be really helpful. It can also help you not waste time when you're shopping if you only have a little bit of time to do that. Um, and then you're not wasting money either on things that you get home and you're like, this is cute, but I I don't know what I would wear it with. I don't know how to wear it. And then it sits in your closet, right? Like I've done that so many times. So um, once again, I just want to share jewelry will maximize your looks. So you don't necessarily need more clothes. You just need a couple of really good accessories that you love that go with your style and that go with the pieces that you have in your closet. And that's going to maximize your looks, whether you're a stay-at-home mom, whether you work from home, whether you work outside the home, whether you um, are a college student, no matter where you are in life, um, jewelry is going to help you look pulled together and it's also going to help um, stretch what you do have. Um, so the challenge for today, I'll post the graphic after this video, is to um, share a picture either of it, it on you, you can have it laid out on your on your bed, you can show a picture on a hanger of an outfit that you pulled together that shows the one, two, three, that has the, um, the neutral or the basic, that has the fashion accessory or the fashion piece, and then has the accessories or the jewelry. Um, if you don't have this jewelry yet, that's fine. Just show me a picture of something that you think is a basic and um, a step two of a fashion piece that you would put with it. Um, I would love to see it. So today I have on just a denim shirt and just like they're black they're kind of like leggings they're like the best blend ever of like they look like jeans but really they're leggings um and i am gonna throw on a vest because it's cold but i didn't feel like wearing my winter jacket all day running errands so i'm gonna do 
that. And if I didn't have a necklace on, like this would look okay, right? But by throwing on, oops, I just got caught in my hair. By throwing on a longer necklace, it really does help pull my lip together. And because it's a long necklace, it helps create a, that vertical line that we all like. Keeps the eye moving up and down instead of out, right? We like to look thinner. So this necklace is called Cashmere, and it's one of my absolute favorites. It is a multi-strand beaded necklace. It also has a gold strand right here that has the arrows. Um, and this gold strand is actually removable. So you can wear the gold strand by itself. You could wear just the beads by themselves, or you can wear it all together. You can also twist this together and wear it short um, for kind of a little different look. You can also, let me get it untangled. You can also take a couple of these beaded pieces. I'll do this one because it's not tangled. And you can um, kind of loop it and tie it in a really, not tie it, but kind of loop it into a little knot right here so that it hangs like that so it kind of frames it. But the other really nice thing about cashmere is that it also comes with this short stretchy beaded necklace that has a pendant. It is also reversible to shiny gold on the back. Um, but I often wear this as a bracelet. It can uh, go on your wrist really easily. Today I wore it kind of up here so it was framed by this since I had a collar on my shirt so I could have one necklace on the outside and one necklace on the inside. Um, so that is cashmere. I love this necklace. It's easy to throw on with pretty much anything. I just put on my Shine Bright Post earrings today. The Shine Bright earrings are awesome, especially if you have kiddos because they're not going to be dangling or getting in the way. Um, they come in a pack of two. There's a gold and silver, or there's a rose gold and a hematite or black. Um, and then bracelets, I threw on the Promise bracelet. It's a leather wrap bracelet, and it does have a silver um, closure. It's like you put it, feed it through. Um, I just put it to the back since I have some gold, but it's okay to mix your gold and silver. And then I put the th I put three of the bangles from the Rest Assured set on with this just to kind of add a little bit more. And the Rest Assured set comes with five bangles, three gold and two silver, or it might be six. It might be three and three. Um, and they have encouraging phrases on them. So the gold ones say, I am enough, stronger than yesterday, and this too shall pass. So <laughs> nice to have just a little encouragement on your wrist. They're also really good gifts. Um, another look I wanted to show you really quickly, and then I gotta go take the kiddos and run some errands, but <clears throat> this is called Rustic Diva. This is a fun piece. It's another long throw-on piece, and it has three charms at the bottom. All three of these charms actually have, um, lobster claw closure, so you can take them off, put them on other things. If you're not crazy about something, like if you're not crazy about the tooth, you can take that off and just have these two. So that's a fun option to just throw on over something. It does have gold and kind of an antiqued gold finish down here on the charms. So you could do gold earrings or you could throw on, um, these are our Contempo earrings. They also come in silver and there's a silver necklace, but this is kind of that antique brass gold hammered look and these are really fun because uh, the backs are a little bit different. So they hang a little bit differently on you. So they're really fun earrings. So that's Rustic Diva and Contempo. So I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the 123 and seeing some more jewelry. Don't forget that tomorrow evening we will be doing um, another live. I'll have a few more looks for you and then if you have questions, I would love to answer them. Um, and we'll be um, closing out the show this weekend. So make sure that you hop over and start looking at the website and kind of seeing what jewelry you think you would like. If you need suggestions or help, please ask me. I would love to help you with that. If you book during this event, you will get a special prize and so will our lovely hostess. Um, so make sure you're completing those challenges so you get in on the drawing and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic Friday, everybody.